everybody i just wanted to record another quick one of these uh doc videos really quick and it will be very prompt i promise um basically a really important thing to focus on whether it's a career goal um a school you want to go into a major in college uh being good at a sport that maybe you weren't like a prodigy at or absolutely any like variant of not your strong suit or just room for improvement. Anyway, any I could apply to um, getting some liberal results. And about the real meaning of not giving up and persistence. Because I don't think anyone's delved into this much detail. Because I know for people who are very literal minded, when even the best coaches, teachers, anybody in any category, whether it's manifesting or something else, explains things, you tend to take the very literal meaning of what they're saying and not think about kind of the mechanics that go into it. And this is for the people that. Not so much to think on the surface, but um, just have that kind of brain. I wish I could explain it better. Anyway, so for example, when people say don't give up, um, what does that mean that you're still trying? Here's the thing, when you're still trying, and just because this is a subliminal channel, the first example I use is getting subliminal results. You find subliminals, you're like, whoa, this is crazy. And then you go and look up how they work for people and you see results pictures and you try. And you know nothing about manifesting or law of assumption. We don't talk about law of attraction here because that is dumb I mean, you can call it that and that's not dumb but the, like most of the stuff that's based on like forcing people to be happy is in my opinion inferior <laughs> i saw the dark anyway so you try subliminals you start listening to them you don't really have the tenets of manifesting down you haven't been getting into it very much but you're listening to subliminals they don't work for you so it's that first impression thing and this goes for sports academics career any hobby anything that you try they can be put into any category um you know, that first impression of, this is hard, that didn't work for me. You know, you're not giving up, you're continuing to listen and learn more in getting some more results or whatever it is you're doing. That feeling of failure or frustration hangs on. And that's something I figured out really recently with a lot of things. Is that I was carrying those old, um, like, despairful feelings from many facets of things, whether it was my career, um, social, that so many things I was basically jogging around um, all of the old associations and be like, this is hard because you still feel that feeling. And you don't have to get rid of the feeling. You don't have to get rid of anything. Um, it's just a matter of, you can even, like, I have to like write stuff down a lot to understand it because I have disorganized thoughts, like I mentioned, I think in the last little snippet I posted, but um, writing it down helps if you're a very disorganized thinker, um, super hyperactive, just like your brain, if it were a room, it would look like the floor would just be covered in like unopened bags of hot cheetos and like disorganized fucking movie posters on the walls and it would just give someone like a a complex because it's so fucking discombobulated but um it's taking those feelings from what you associate with something like the most and being like that's that's not acting anymore that's when i didn't know and understand now and those feelings of fear that we get from failing at anything or just not doing great at anything because it is fear that's what it does we're programmed to stay away from stuff that made us feel pain um i'll try to attach an article about that psychological phenomenon but we have to override that and you have to get rid of it you just have to be like hey that feeling's not valid anymore and that's just my human physiology um my brain being pesky and it's such a small but fucking important thing and that's why um it's so easy to overlook but also like when i hear don't give up I don't think about the inner workings of don't give up, it's just like I'm still going, but I have all this um, toxic waste and poison floating around in like the space of whatever it is I'm trying to do in my thoughts about it. And you're not conscious, that's the subconscious. But it takes a second for writing it down, because that cements it for me. Be like, that's that fear or um, pain or something. Like, not even, it doesn't have to be a super like painful, it can just be like, ooh, like. That, that didn't work, or that didn't work well, or whatever it was. Some form of failure and the fear that humans physiologically get from like not 100% succeeding at something is identifying it and um, basically invalidating it. Because I, I think that's probably the one thing that messes people up for so long and I've never heard it spoken about before, so it's so fucking important to just look at those associations or observe the ideas you have about it and be like, that's no longer valid and that's not what my 3d reality and my experience is going on kind of nullify that and it's such an easy thing to do so yeah i love everybody i hope this was cohesive and understandable and have an excellent day goodbye